Hi everyone, this is uh, Eric Ringer for uh, MUX term 1305 and this is my week 4 discussion on my iOS app. So uh, let's go over the questions, what went well and didn't go well while building your native app. Uh, well let's go ahead and run it. I said overall um, everything went pretty well, uh, converting everything from the prototype, here's my launch image, um, to, uh, to Xcode and everything. I didn't really have any issues. Um, originally I had this, the homepage be a um, sfindy.com, but I kind of changed that which um, to an animation of different images. So every um, few seconds it changes an image. And then I added uh, the sfindy.com button so that way they uh, when they click it can go to uh, sfindy.com there's the website Oops. so then you can just go back home uh, what aspects of the application were best presented as native components um, I would say well oops. I would say well mainly uh, that this animation right here and then I have an info button. You click on the info. It tells you a little bit about SF Indie Fest. Uh, and then this app was created by Eric Ringer. And then I added the survey. So they could take the survey if they wanted. Survey button. And then they could go back. Um, and then, you know, each one of these is a table view with a detail view. So that's native. So they would. Uh, like here for DocFest, which is coming up, I actually added some real films, some real data, so they can click on that. Uh, they'll be able eventually to uh, click that button to see the trailer. Right now, it's just the default of the DocFest teaser trailer. Um, and then they click the buy tickets, and it would take them to the buy ticket link. So those aren't quite working yet, but this is, you know, the summary, the time, the date, the time, and then uh, the synopsis of the film so each one of these would have that so it's kind of like how it would look so this is all native so what aspects of the application were customized to create a new brand so I added uh, branding here SF Indie Fest right here to uh, all the to all the table views uh, so I think and then uh, just having you know the images here in the table views I kind of changed it up so eventually they'll look like that but that all you know so you're aware that this is SF Indie Fest and then I even added a location uh, so this will tell you this is at the Roxy Theater in San Francisco and it gives you a little detail map view and then like for events which is at a different location it's also in San Francisco, but it's at another location, the Women's Building Auditorium. Um, so, what aspects of the application, integrity, functionality, and aesthetic were easily translated to Objective C? I say uh, making these table views, this UI tab bar, um, adding the little icons into there, uh, adding the images for the table view. Uh, you know, it has a text field, some labels, uh, the nav bar buttons. So all this stuff was pretty easy. I had some issues. I wanted to add a search bar up here, but I had some issues with getting it to work right. So that's something that uh, I will work on in the future to see if I can add that. Because I think it would be ideal to have the search so that way they could just search for the... Uh, for the name of the film instead of having to scroll all the way down right now there's only 10 but I think this festival has like 40 50 films so I mean that's a lot to have to try to scroll down to find and then, you know each festival has a bunch of different stuff um, and then how satisfied are you with the experience and the performance in this class uh, overall I enjoyed this class I like making this app uh, I really like this animation which just changes the uh, images every few seconds I think that's kind of cool for the home page and then uh, just the the table views with the detail I think it's pretty simple um, I think the app so far looks pretty pretty good 
uh, so that would be for uh, there. You can buy tickets and it takes you to the buy ticket links. Uh, so, um, but yeah, I did. I enjoyed this class and uh, I'm actually looking forward to the next couple of months where I can add more to this app and uh, get it into the app store. So I think that would be really cool. So I would say overall I'm pretty satisfied so far with uh, what this app is and excited about what this uh, adding more stuff to it and uh, getting it into the app store. So uh, this is my app and uh, that's my video and uh, I enjoyed this class and I hope everybody else did and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.